Welcome back everybody to another video from I Get Trades. Today I'll be showing you how to add, edit, and save studies to your charts. Now this is a process that is going to save you a lot of time and a lot of energy. You know when I first started using Thinkorswim uh, I didn't know too much and every time I logged in I would manually add my studies one at a time until I, I realized, wait a second, there's a way that you could save these studies so that way every time you come in, you can just load them up and you're good to go. So I'm gonna use my two favorites, as some of you may know, it is VWAP and the nine day exponential moving average. So we have a chart pulled up here under the trade tab. Uh, you could do this under charts too, but I'm just using trade for the sake of example. And what we're gonna do is come up here to the top and go to studies. I like to go straight to add study and there's a few options that you have here now you have all these different categories you know, crossovers Dave Elliott studies uh, moving averages but I personally like to go to all studies because you get the alphabet here to the right and you could pretty much search by name uh, it's all from A to Z in order and for me at least it makes the process a lot easier so if we're looking for VWAP, just to get started, we obviously want to go down to the V's. And in some cases, there's so many studies that there's two sections. So we go here, and obviously we don't see VWAP, but that doesn't mean it's not there. If you look right below, from T through V, we also have V through W. And at the very top here, we have VWAP. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. And now we've added VWAP to our chart. Now, uh, some people have asked me before, yes, I use all three lines. As you can see, there is a little bit of a correlation here where this chart is bouncing off from the very bottom and also getting rejected here at the very top. Not gonna go into detail on this video, uh, but the actual VWAP line is the middle one here, this purple one, okay? So we just added the VWAP study. Now, there's a few things you can do here. You could edit this study one of two ways. You see how it gets highlighted here as I move my cursor over it? On, off, on, off. You could right click on this study and right here you have edit study VWAP. Now you could click on this and it gives you access to everything about the study. Okay, the color, how you want it drawn as, the style, if you want to switch it up you can do that. Then you have the upper band, the lower band, if you want to change the colors and the style. I mean, you could go crazy with this. Now that's one way you could edit your study. The other way is simply by going back to studies and clicking edit studies. Now what I like about this version is that you're able to add multiple uh, studies or, or edit multiple studies, where by just going by right clicking, the only study you're gonna be able to you know edit or, or play with is the, the specific one that you clicked on, in this case, the VWAP. So my recommendation is that you go to studies and you click edit studies because it gives you a lot more things that you can do. Not only can we get to the same place by going to VWAP here and clicking this gear icon and it'll take us to where we were before. You see you have the VWAP, the colors, the style, the upper band, the lower band, it's all there but you could also access all your studies at once. So let's say along with the VWAP, we want to also have another study on this chart at the same time that we have the VWAP on here. And let's say, like I said, my personal favorite, the two that I use, VWAP and the nine day exponential moving average. So we're going to go to this search box here. And as you can see, we're under studies and I'm going to type in moving just to make, keep it simple. And as we come down here, we have moving average exponential all right so we're going to click on this and hit add selected as you can now see we have two studies on here and i could do the same thing i could come all the way to the right and let's say you don't like using the nine day and you wanted to make it 13 day you could just change it right here and then you hit okay and you want to change the color you could do it here too you want to change the style to make it look a little bit different than your other studies. You can do that here too. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it back to nine. And I'm gonna hit okay. And now that we have our two studies, in this particular example, we're gonna hit apply. And you probably saw there in the background, it just popped up. We're gonna hit okay. 
So we now have our VWAP, which is this reddish line, this purple line, and this yellow line. But we also have this teal or turquoise line, our exponential moving average, 9 day. Now, if you ever want a quick reference to this, you'll notice here at the very top of the chart, this is your VWAP, and it's purple. All right? Upper band is red, lower band is yellow, and we also have our moving average exponential, 9 day. And that's what this teal and turquoise, turquoise line is. So now that we have our favorite studies, for this example at least, loaded up on our chart, what we don't want is to close out our TOS and we come back the next day and they're gone. And we have to go back in, add them manually the way we just did every single time. So as you start to pick your favorite studies that you like to use together or combined with others, what you could do is actually save the study set is the terminology they use. And it's quite simple actually. You're going to go right here to studies and you're going to click on save study set all right and you could give it whatever name you want right you could call it the i get trade study or you could just simply call it vwap space ema or to make things even simpler or easier to recognize vwap ema 9 so you know it's the nine day exponential moving average uh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's put a 9 in the middle here just to kind of separate the VWAP and the 9-day exponential moving average. And we're going to hit save. Now, for the purposes of example, I'm going to remove these studies. Okay? I'm going to remove them. Remove all studies. Yes? All right. And now they're gone. So if you, if you wouldn't have saved this every day, you're ha you're, you would have to come in, add your study, Go back over here, find VWAP, add that, and, and, and do the whole process all over again. But that's painstaking, and, and it takes a lot of time and energy. When you come in in the morning, you want to be able to load up your studies and be good to go. Or if you're switching back and forth in between minute charts and daily charts, and you use different studies in between those two charts, you want to have the ability to just you know move fast and, and load everything up. So now that we saved our study set, we could simply go to studies, load study set, and I have a few already in here, but look, if we come down here, look what we have. VWAP 9-day EMA. I'm going to click on it. Presto. We have our VWAP along with our 9-day exponential moving average saved as a study set. So now if I go to another uh, chart, uh, let's see. Uh, I just, I don't know, I'm just typing in whatever here. But it's there, all right? And you could pull it up and, and you could switch in between study sets whenever you want. You know, I have all these other ones here. Um, don't want to click on the wrong thing, but go to Golden Cross just real quick. You know, not that you want to use this on a minute chart, but I'm just using it as an example to show you how I could flip back and forth in between uh, uh, studies. And let's say I want to go to uh, another study, my daily moving average, which I also use on, on daily charts. Uh, you know, you have your simple moving average of 50 days, your simple moving average of 200 days. And over here, I believe it's uh, the 13-day exponential moving average I use. And I use these three to look at my daily charts, kind of find a support and resistance or see if a, a, if a stock is getting squeezed. Um, but that's for another video. Either way, I think you guys get the point. It's very simple. You could add as many studies as you want um, to where it doesn't look crazy or drive you crazy. You could save them as study sets, and then you could go in and simply load them up. So that way you're good to go and you have everything you need quick on the move, switching back and forth in between charts, whatever you need to do. Um, and, and, and it's a great reference and a great tool that I use on a daily basis multiple times throughout the day. So I hope this helps you out just like anything else that I put out there for you guys. If it does, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Even shoot me a comment, even if it's just to say hello. Um, and uh, we also recently uh, launched our website, igettrades.com. So you can stop by and visit there, check it out, give me some feedback. I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, until the next time, uh, happy trading and good luck, everybody.